Well, it's me again. Hair is perfectly messed up. I think I'm doing a good job. Ah, really interesting things been happening with my ring system. And, uh, would like a little feedback from you guys, but I don't necessarily deserve the feedback. But here's what's happening when I call about a camera that I bought, my front doorbell camera. Been working great. Till, till Ring updated it, and then it didn't work. And then I go into the app to troubleshoot, and they removed all the abilities to change the features that you put on it. And also, they turned on neighbors without me asking. Uh, those are two big red flags, which I don't like. I don't like people invading my privacy or sharing my stuff with other people, or even the access to my cameras from people in my neighborhood. It's nothing against the people in the neighborhood. I just know that if it leads to one thing, it leads to another. So I called, and uh, I wasn't too bad a mood until I got into their uh, new, uh, uh, what do you call, automated system, which can guarantee make you so mad as hell that by the time you get on the phone with an actual technician, which, by the way, they didn't seem to be a technician. They, were, they seemed to be reading a script. And uh, their answer was, well, you know, after all that argument and me getting mad, which I was mad by that point, they said uh, their security team would call me the next day, 24 to 24 hours later. I said, okay, but you better do it or I'll write a video on it. And this is not that video. This is the video before that video because I may have to buy a camera other than Ring for the first time ever. And I like the doorbell ring, but if it's not going to detect somebody at the door and there's no way to fix it, and their ideas are always something to do with reset my system and call back, that's not an answer. I mean, I installed this camera, and this works flawlessly since I first got it. And when I say first got it, it's, it's one of the first ring doorbell cams, a really nice one. 1080, it's not the 1536 one they have now. But what's atrocious is it was broken by their software. That's, that's a big no-no. If I bought a car and you as a company decided to remove the steering wheel because, well, we don't want you to have one, well, that would get you mad. I thought, well, if I'm going to have to reinstall this, I'm uh, thinking in my head, well, that's red flag there. <clears throat> but but let's say I have to reinstall the whole thing. Well, I might as well get the new ring base station. Ooh, sure glad I didn't do that. Their base station uh, hooks you into a contract that's almost exactly, almost exactly like Monotronics. Now, I got into that mess once. I don't ever want to get into Monotronics or ADT. Those are just money sinks. And they don't do anything, any of them, ever. So, and I've had them. I've had, I've had both over the years. And, and I wouldn't recommend those to anybody. Even, even somebody I hated, I wouldn't recommend those to. But here, now if you buy the Ring upgraded platform, they're going to suck you into a contract that costs you more money, apparently, than Monotronics and ADT. Uh, that sounds suspiciously like whoever they hired to run their debt organization was the same people from Monotronics. So I'm going to warn you away from buying the upgraded uh, system. And now I'm actually looking at slowly removing all of the Ring products from my house. And trust me, this is a lot of money. We're talking almost 2000 maybe $2,500 i got to get rid of. And you're going to say, oh, I'll probably sell it. No, I won't. I'll smash it with a hammer and throw it in the garbage can before I'll sell it to somebody. I learned that lesson a long time ago. You, you, you don't sell to anybody your old stuff if it's something that's problematic. And it's problematic. And if a company can break the camera, that means they can break the system. And mind you, this is Amazon we're talking about here. Now, do I have Google Nest products or will I get Google Nest products? Answer that is no. I will never get Google Nest products. 
uh, they ruined my thermostats when I first got them, and I got those, and I ended up finally with Amazon ones. But now I'm kind of worried about them. Now I may end up having to get rid of that product too. Um, I'm a little worried because I went to a lot of trouble to set this all up and get it all working beautiful. And then Amazon or Ring, one or the other, made the decision to turn this into a pay through the nose system and then on top of that when I called I still don't have a camera that works the front doorbell camera I can walk in and out uh, but you know I gotta be fair let me go outside and see if it goes off I mean geez you would want to just accuse somebody of something but when I won't go to the front on the other cameras they work fine. Well, the funny thing is the detection system seems to work beautiful. Well, if the detection system is working, then why is the doorbell cam not working right? That's some interesting stuff. If I open this door, let's make sure, because the other one here, I'm mad the other day. Who knows? Maybe they fixed it. That would be a really neat video, huh? Showed me opening the door. Doorbell doesn't make any noise. Oh, dirty dust on it. Sorry, I live in New Mexico. Um, but if I go to the front on the cameras I just installed, and uh, I do have one up there, spotlight cam, solar, very good camera, by the way. And the front one on my garage works beautiful. That's a wired spotlight cam. And I ran it through using a gasket and plugged it in the garage. So it's, it's, it's uh, powered electrically so it doesn't go down unless the power goes down. We're in New Mexico. Most of our power lines are non-existent because the only power lines around here go out of town from over there. They don't even go to this neighborhood. We very rarely have the power go out. Now, if I push the button, I get nothing again. And mind you, all this started, believe it or not, with not. Let's go back and tell you what happened to get it started. Uh, this all went back to oh. somebody that's, at the door. That's how long it took that to go. That's got to be scary to anybody you listening to this video. Um, and that's if I push the doorbell. And so, and technically, when it had what it had, it didn't work. I walked in the house, talked a little bit, and then it went off. That means somebody come up, steal a package, and I won't even know it's gone. Didn't used to do this, but now it does. Apparently, that's the new ring. Uh, but the camera still works, so I'm torn whether to replace it. It's a security camera. It's now totally useless. By the time I'd see somebody on the camera, they'd already be in the house. That's a little bit frustrating. So it'll be a follow-on video of this, because I'm right now deciding whether to go to with Uffy or another system there will not be a professional system installed at this house because they're not even worth talking about every last one of them does not cover does not keep and by the time they could get somebody here in an emergency you'd already be dead so so it's basically trying to figure out if i need to buy a new camera and who i buy it from but i've really lost a lot of faith in ring a massive amount of faith I shouldn't have that problem. There shouldn't be that big delay. And then on top of that, when I go to look at the video after somebody's been here, it didn't detect a package or anything. Mind you, this is all after their updated ring. So I will let you guys know what I end up doing. Right now, it's a question of, uh, do I call them back and get mad again or just let it, let it go? It's probably not worth it because they're not going to be a company that fixes anything. They're going to be a company that just tries to dodge. 
Thanks, guys. I'll, I'll file another report on something else or this later.